Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can change actor core character colors and materials via the CC3 Blender tools in Blender. This is a feature that is compatible with all CC3 and actor core characters. The actor core library contains hundreds of different model types, from business to sci-fi, in order to fit any project. There are always new additions to our ever-expanding library of actors and motions, so make sure to check back frequently for the newest and greatest, not to mention freebies that are also regularly updated. When you choose the Blender target application in the download window, you'll see a link appear below that will lead you directly to the page where you can download the Blender Auto Setup tool. From there, just follow the links to download the tool from GitHub. Let's take a quick look at our Actor Core Characters folder once we've downloaded first. You can see that there's an FBX file with a folder containing the Diffuse, Normal, AO, Metallic, and Roughness texture maps. There are also an additional two maps in the Texture folder for Color ID and RGB Mask, which allow you to adjust different sections of the textures separately. Okay, so first let's quickly install the add-on in Blender by going up to Preferences, Install, and then selecting the zip file that we just downloaded from the Reillusion site. To quickly find it in your list of add-ons, you can just search for CC3 Tools. Once you're done, you'll see the CC3 Tool tab, where you can easily bring your character in by pressing the Import Character button. Okay, let's tackle the color and material adjustments in Blender now. Since we're using the Auto Setup tool, our character's materials and shaders will be mapped automatically, saving you huge amounts of time. You'll see that there is a Texture Channel Mixer section under Material Parameters. There you'll find that the RGB mask maps have already been applied to the respective channels. In this case, the red channel is assigned to the skin, so you can go there and adjust parameters to affect only the skin. The green channel is assigned to the hair, so you can do likewise in that section. For the hair, you can use the threshold parameter to adjust the position of the hairline. Blue is for the mouth separately, which we won't worry about now. Below that, you'll find the color ID maps which provide another layer of customization, normally assigned to the different pieces of clothing. Here the green color of the ID map is assigned to the skirt, so we can go under that and adjust the skirt parameters separately. We can achieve a more glossy look as well by decreasing the roughness value. We can then do the same thing with the yellow color, which in this case is assigned to the top. If you want to restore the channel adjustments back to default values, you can simply deactivate them. Keep in mind that your previous adjustments will still be saved, all you need to do to restore them is simply reactivate the channel. Let's take a quick look at what will happen to the shading graph when we activate one of these channels in the CC3 Blender Tools add-on. Notice the additional nodes that will automatically be spawned when I activate the respective channels in the add-on. If you want, you can shut down the entire map channel by using the X button, which will unlink that section. If you want to add them back again, you can still use the image icon to reapply the specific map you want. As an additional bonus, it will still remember the previous settings upon reload. This next CC3 character was sent from Character Creator to Blender via the CC3 Blender Tools add-on as well. As you can see, it has the same options available for both Color ID and RGB mask maps. It's not too difficult to draw your own RGB and Color ID maps by using the Diffuse map as a reference. If you have those maps available, then you can do the same thing with your CC3 character, like adjust the different clothing pieces separately. Here you can see me quickly tweaking the parameters to give our character's shorts a more shiny leather look, and turning the shirt from blue denim to black. This particular color ID map even has the buttons separate, allowing me to adjust their shininess to make them more reflective. That's all there is to this quick tutorial guys. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully you have a lot of fun using this super useful tool when bringing your CC3 and Actor Core characters into Blender. Don't forget to check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.